Hello friends, welcome to Medilab Seven YouTube channel. This video is about how to differentiate immature white blood cells. I hope you will watch my video until the end. I know finally you can easily identify immature white blood cells. If you want more medical labor science videos, please consider subscribe and click the notification bell also. Let's see one by one. This video include what are the five types of immature white blood cells, details about each of immature white blood cells. Finally, I will show what are the identification features of immature white blood cells using comparison method. There are five types of immature white blood cells. Those are myeloblast, promyelocyte, myelocyte. Metamyelocyte and band form. Myeloblast. Myeloblast is the earliest recognizable cell in the granulocytic maturation process. It is about 15 to 20 micrometer in diameter, with a large round to oval nucleus and a small amount of basophilic cytoplasm. The nucleus contains two to five nucleoli, and nucleotromatin is fine and reticular. Promyelocyte The next stage in the maturation is promyelocyte, which is slightly larger in size than myeloblast. Primary or acyropelic granules appear at the promyelocyte stage. The nucleus contains nucleoli as in myeloblast stage, but nuclear chromatin shows slight condensation. Myelocyte Myelocyte stage is characterized by the appearance of secondary or specific granules. Myelocyte is a smaller cell with round to oval eccentrically placed nucleus. More condensation of chromatin than in promyelocyte stage and absence of nucleoli. Cytoplasm is relatively greater in amount than in promyelocyte stage and contains both primary and secondary granules. Myelocyte is the last cell capable of mitotic division. Metamyelocyte In the metamyelocyte stage, the nucleus becomes indented and kidney-shaped, and the nucleus chromatin becomes moderately coarse. Cytoplasm contains both primary and secondary granules. Band stage this is characterized by band-like shape of the nucleus with constant diameter throughout and condensed nuclear traumatin. I compare five types of immature white blood cell using those characteristics. Those are nucleoli present or not, size of the cell, nuclear size and shape, traumatin amount of cytoplasm and granules. First one is nucleoli present or not. Myeloblast, one or more nucleoli. Promyelocyte, nucleoli present. Myelocyte, absent of nucleoli. Metamyelocyte, absent of nucleoli. Band cell, absent of nucleoli. Second one is size of the cell. Myeloblast, 15 to 20 micrometer in diameter. Promyelocyte, slightly larger in size than myeloblast. Myelocyte, round or oval in shape and may vary in size. Metamyelocyte, similar in shape to myelocyte but are slightly smaller. Third one is nuclear size and shape. Myeloblast, large round to oval nucleus. Promyelocyte, 
Large round and oval and is often centrally placed but may sometimes be located eccentrically. Myelocyte Round to oval eccentrically placed nucleus. Metamyelocyte Nucleus becomes indented and kidney shaped. Band cell Band like shape of the nucleus. Fourth one is Chromatin Myeloblast Nuclear chromatin is fine and reticular. Promyelocyte Nuclear chromatin shows slight condensation. Myelocyte More condensation of chromatin than in promyelocyte stage. Metamyelocyte Nuclear chromatin become moderately coarse. Band cell Condensed nuclear chromatin. Fifth one is amount of cytoplasm and granules. Myeloblast, blue cytoplasm, no granules. Promyelocyte, primary O, acyropelic granules appear. Myelocyte, few acyropelic granules present. Small, pink specific granules in cytoplasm. Metamyelocyte, primary and secondary granules present in cytoplasm. Van cell, cytoplasm is abundant and pale pink or colorless. I know now you know about how to differentiate immature white blood cells. If you have a question or what kind of video do you need next, please comment below. If you want more information about medical lab or subject, Please visit my site medilabsoon.com Please thumb up my video Share my video with your friends Thank you for watching my video